Hello everyone, I am Daniel Calvo Mayo, I am Senior Application Engineer at Numiberica and I'm very pleased to be with you in this series of videos where we will see how to simulate a hydraulic turbine with Cadence's CFD software Fidelity. This video will be probably your first contact with Fidelity GUI, so we will focus on how this is structured in terms of menus, environment, views, etc. We will also cover how to import a CAD and perform basic operations on it to get the geometry ready for the study. We can see that we have different applications depending on the kind of study that we want to perform. In our case we will use Turbo since it fits our purpose, but know that it is possible to create your own templates and tailor them to your specific needs. In the welcome page we can also easily access recent projects that we've worked on in the past. Let's first open a saved project to see how the GUI looks like. At the top we can see the project management panel which enables access to multiple documents. Undo redo operations, save a project or a template. Continuing downwards, we find the selection toolbar where we can change the selection mode. From the standard click and rectangular to more complicated tangential or by similar perimeter and area. We can also change the items that will be picked up by our selection between assemblies, boundaries or patches and curves. On the left we find the toolbar with all available tools applicable to the current workflow context. For example, in geometry we can create primitives, surfaces, cap holes and also take measurements or add a bounding box. Towards the bottom we can find workflow menu where we can select the different contexts. In this video we will stay in geometry but we will cover the other contexts in the next ones. Finally, the bottom panel controls the fidelity environment for working units, GUI style, resource manager, command manager, Python script recorder, and other preferences. Besides these different menus, Fidelity works with different containers. The Turbo template is pre-configured with a Turbo machinery tree on the left, a CAD tree on the right, and three different views. One for the new CAD, the 3D view, and two for the Turbo machinery linked data, 3D and Meridional. These containers are totally customizable by clicking on the top right corner. Also, the relative size can be modified by moving the bars. Now let's close this project and start one from scratch. First thing we need to do is to import the turbine CAD. For that we click on the down arrow of the CAD tree and select the file. Fidelity can work with a lot of different formats, but in this case we will use Parasolid. It's possible to customize the triangulation level, but for today we will leave the default one, which is fine. Now that geometry appears in the cat 3 d view, we can easily change the view by zooming in with the mouse wheel, rotate it by holding the left button, or pan with the middle button. We can also fit the view, and change between orthographic and perspective cameras. Finally, we have at hand pre-configured views for X, Y and Z directions. We can also measure distances,
or angles. But if we want to have an idea of the dimensions of the geometry, the best tool is the bounding box, which actually changes depending on the active selection. We can also change the color as we wish or add transparency. Other modifications we can do are, for example, extrusions. We can create an extension of our draft tube if we want the outlet to be set further. Also, if we need to obtain a specific quantity in some region, perhaps we want to split patches, and we can do this according to U and V parametric directions. Finally, we can create primitives, such as cylinders, transform them, and translate them or rotate as we wish. But this is not all. Fidelity has a lot more features for CAD preparation, from creating revolution or lofted surfaces, geometry simplification tools such as removing small features, add spheres at saddle points or removing sharp angle regions, to closing holes either manually or all at the same time using Cadence's Intelligent Algorithm Autoseal. That's all for this video. Stay tuned to see how to get the most out of Cadence's Auto Mesh on the next video of the series. Thank you for watching.